Hey everyone, welcome back to another class of the AI Chatbot Masterclass. And in this class, we're going to learn a lot about Dialogflow. Dialogflow has been that one single platform that builds chatbots exceptionally well. It is a natural language understanding platform that helps you synthesize queries, that helps you understand queries, that helps you understand natural language, human language basically, where you can configure those answers for your users. So I think we should dive in as quick as possible. So you have now built your persona, you have a use case right, you have written those conversational scripts, you have expanded that suggestion chips and all those design and wonderful design I would say. And now it's time to actually build it and now it's time to actually get in the game and start building your chat assistant. Dialogflow, the excitement begins. Now once you have understood what Dialogflow can do for us, we need to understand the basics of Dialogflow, okay? And when I say the basics of Dialogflow, everything in Dialogflow comes down to this one single word or this one single term called intent. What you will be doing in Dialogflow is you'll be making different intent, you'll be creating different intents and then those different intents will be answering different queries for you. As simple as I've just said it. So let's get through it. What is the meaning of intent? How can you generate? How can you create good intents? How can you build good intents? And how can you build good chatbots actually? So what is an intent basically? So intent basically means an intention or a purpose. What is our intention to give the user? What is our intention? What is our purpose to deliver to the user? One single purpose is one single intent. Very simple. An intent categorizes an end user's intention for one conversation turn. When a user is entering one query, when a user is sending you one message in your chat assistant, what will be the answer? So what is the user's intention? What are they trying to get? And what can you give them? You have to judge what was their intent? What are they trying to get? And according to that, what you have to give them? What has to be your response? It's just like a question answer format, if I would say. What is the user's question? And what is your answer? And that one answer could be configured in one intent. For each agent, you define many intents where your combined intents can handle a complete conversation. So now when you combine these intents, you can combine these intents just by a query format. You can combine these intents via suggestion chips. You can combine these intents via carousal cards via list items, via different things, via different interactive elements also. And when you combine these intents, a whole conversation takes place actually. So let's understand what's actually happening. Now when an end user writes or says something referred to as end user expression, dialogue flow matches the end user expression to the best intent in your agent. As easy as it is said, that whenever a user is typing something out there, you know, whenever a user is speaking something to your assistant or typing out to the assistant, expecting something in a reply, Dialogflow actually finds that in the intents. And the answer from the best matched intents is what your user is going to see. So let's, let me take you through a more simpler definition that will actually help you out to build these intents. According to me, the simplest definition is all those questions that have same or similar answer will lie under one single intent. As simple as it is. All those questions that have the one single answer or same answer I would say will lie under one single intent. Very clear. It's like one intent performs one particular action. One intent gives you one piece of information or asks the user one piece of information or gives user one answer. Simple. So a user message and an assistant message and this assistant message is going to come from one single intent. So let's take an example. So suppose we have a weather assistant that recognizes and responds to questions about weather. There could be a lot of questions about weather. For example, I want to know the weather forecast. So now when I want to know the weather forecast, there can be many ways to ask the same thing, to ask the same question. One way could be what is the forecast today? Another way could be what is the weather like right now? The third could be What's the temperature right now? You can see that all these questions are somewhere demanding the same answer and hence all these questions go under one intent. And this makes things are quite clear. If different questions have the same answer, you put all those questions in one single intent. So let's understand what is the workflow of dialogue flow? What is the workflow of a query? How does a query flows through from your user 
to dialog flow and then back to your user as an answer so what happens is user type something and that is called end user expression that comes to the agent to your agent to your dialog flow agent basically and then dialog flow agent finds out which is the best intent that matches the user query and once it matches the right intent for your user query it is going to answer according to that intent it is going to show up the answer that is mentioned in that intent and that becomes the response what a user is going to see so very simple workflow you need to just find out the right intent and then the answer will be given to your user now here comes the catch how do we find the right intent what's going on here now we need to understand how are we actually configuring these intents you can match the user expression with the right intent so before we go on we need to understand a bit of user's perspective so while designing user journeys for a chatbot we need to set user goals and his actions now there are multiple ways to reach a particular goal hence an intent will mostly be based on a goal rather than just a single question what is the end goal what is the answer that you're trying to give the end user i can simply say that user goals and user actions will be designed as intents in the assistant let's go ahead so now this is exactly how an intent list looks like and in dialog flow and this is a dialog flow agent for a university and there are different intents where we calling them departments education loan vice chancellor download hall ticket when what established about us approvals accreditation all that stuff and you can see very clearly that we have defined intents according to their end goal what we quite understand by their name right what is the answer we're going to get in each of these intents and that is how we actually categorize these intents with actions with user goals with all those questions having a single answer so now when you start creating your first intent you'll see a screen something like this there is an intent name up there there are context to add up there there are events then there are training phrases and after that you'll see something called actions and parameters and then responses after that there is something called fulfillment but here in this segment we are only going to cover training phrases follow up intents default intent fall back intent the overall intent process and how you can simply build a basic chatbot for your use case